Thank you, uh, Katie and Angela. Um, we're now here with the uh, with Gina Snyder and David Zeke from the Climate Advisory Committee. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. So, tell tell the audience, tell our, our viewers a little bit more about your committee. The Climate Committee is uh, appointed by the Board of Selectmen. And we pretty much do anything that's environmental or sustainability oriented for the town. Okay. Um, we meet every other Wednesday, uh, Wednesday evenings. In fact, tonight is one of our meetings at Town Hall. And we cover anything you can imagine in terms of environment and uh, climate issues. You know, energy efficiency, conservation, trying to help people uh, live more sustainably in Reading helping the town make some decisions about sustainable transportation and um, more bikes and mm -hmm. things like that. So mm -hmm. the, the topics are quite broad. Recycling, we've got a recycling bin installed behind CVS for the businesses to use. Nice. Very so nice. it's pretty broad. Yeah, let me mention a couple of things that we've been doing. Uh, we've been working quite a bit on energy lately. We uh, sp actually sponsored a local meeting uh, in Reading with uh, Representative Bradley Jones in March to talk about some of the things that are going on with solar energy and omnibus energy bill in, in the legislature. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we sponsored a resolution for the Reading Selectmen that the Reading Selectmen passed, uh, speaking to a couple of bills that were in the legislature addressing our leaky natural gas infrastructure. And uh, right now, we're, one of our, our biggest items is, is trying to push community solar, working with RMLD on how, how that might work. Interesting. Right? Any Interesting. Other, um, so uh, we've got a lot of, of things uh, that are happening, and, and we're, we're now actually starting into, into, a, into a new plan. You know, what, what are the next items for the next several years? We're going to be working on that over the summer. So uh, it's pretty busy right now. Um, so then if you had a, a topic that was discussed in your committee, um, does, it, does it impact the town charter, like oh, like, when you when you have when you take up a topic uh, in your committee, uh, how is it presented? Is it does it is it something that would be on a town warrant? Like what what's the what happens? To, or you discuss a topic, is it suggestions f to another committee? Does it go on a like what what's the process after the fact? For example, what when Dave talked about. Um, the resolution supporting legislation to prevent gas leaks or to, to fix gas leaks, okay. repair gas leaks. That was something we recommended to the Board of Selectmen okay. as Excellent. an advisory committee. Okay. We uh, work with other committees in town right now. We're working with Reading Cares. There's a bike swap. If anybody has a used bike that they um, would like to donate, to, um, it's on um, this Friday and Saturday. Nice, Drop nice. it off at the light department okay. on Ash Street okay. on Friday or Saturday morning and then you can come back and choose from a bike. If you don't have a bike to drop off, that doesn't mean you can't go and see okay. if maybe there's a bike. If your kids have outgrown their bike and, you, and you'd like to donate it for some other child to yeah. choose yeah. the bike, take it over to the light department on, um, and it's um, on the Reading Cares website, readingcares.org. Nice. So we're working with them on that. That's an example of working with another committee. We worked with the Council on Aging. We're trying to set up a program where we will help seniors who want to get an energy audit. Now, the Light Department offers free energy audits, but a senior citizen might be a little concerned to have an auditor come in their house and look sure. around their house. Sure. So somebody from the Climate Committee who lives in Reading, it's your neighbor, can come and help you while the auditor's there, explain mm -hmm. the process, and just make you feel more comfortable with having the auditor come. So that's with the Council on Aging. So we. We work with a lot of different committees, and, and we're always happy to have somebody interested in an environmental project work with us and, and get a new project going. Right. And how many, how many uh, committee members do you have currently? What's the, the There's five appointed five, and okay. two associates. Okay. And we have three or four other people who come to meetings and, and work on specific projects that they're nice. interested in on and off. Nice. So it's been great. And, and how would you say you, um, I'm sure you have a mission. Mission. Um, how would how would you say you complete your mission? Like, what's the? Do you have like a mission statement? Is there like a? We do. We do. Okay. It was, and and it was one one that was okay. Was, Excellent. Was already shown. <laughs> I mean, it's good. Yeah. Good. good. But I mean, it's through it's through a series of, of projects. You know, it's it, we have special. Uh, we have specific projects that address address different parts of the mission. You know, we sponsor the Earth Day Fair, for example, Perfect. every year. Perfect. I mean, there's there's certain activities in the town uh, and the community in general that. Uh, you know, address per, various parts of it, or, or we have special projects. Now, so we're interested in working with anybody who's who's interested in this whole area of environment and sustainability, and and maybe they have ideas. You know, maybe sure. they want to bring ideas to the committee. That would be great too. Right. Now, do you do do you do you get involved with the? Um, I remember at the last year's uh, the um, Friends and Family Day. Mm -hmm. 
There was the uh, the water. Um, I don't know what you call those water retention. You know the the buckets that go under the. Um, mm. Is that considered? Yeah. Is that part of that? And it's, I'm not sure if that would be part sure. of. Yeah. It's, it's part of it, right? Energy okay. And uh, climate issue, okay. water conservation. Nice. Um, we've worked with the folks at Town Hall on the water conservation program and and helping them do outreach. I I write a weekly article, uh, that's in both uh, both our local newspapers and uh, we talk about water conservation nice. when it's uh, drinking water week was a week ago. Um, and other times during the year when it's important to conserve water. So that that's another good um, environmental issue excellent, in town. Excellent. I will. So what about solar power? Is that considered? Uh, is that an area that you? Because from my own personal experience, we actually we have a a mud room, sort of our back entrance that faces. It's always in the sun. It's a mm -hmm. perfect opportunity for a solar panel. Mm -hmm. And I did call. I there was a number. I, I saw a commercial, and I called. It wasn't a town. It wasn't a town, but it was a. And they said my my electric rates were too low. They could, <laughs> it wouldn't benefit me. And I'm like, we'll put the panel up anyways. And it was just a perfect opportunity. It's always in the sun. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're talking solar power, I mean, it's it's so much sun the deck fades. I can't keep staying on my deck. It just fades. Mm -hmm. And I was so disappointed because I'm thinking, if you want? I would think the first rule for solar is get up, if get some sun. And, oh. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I think I might have. Go, I might have actually. Go, I mean, I know. And I, then yes. he said, the first question they ask is, unfortunately, is what's your what's your uh, monthly rate? Mm -hmm. What do you pay per month? And I thought, well, that was kind of a strange question. That's, that's not what I would expect. No. That was a strange question. I'm like, what does that have to do with you know? I I have sun. I think it's a perfect opportunity. So yeah, and, there, and the, so there are a number of com of uh, you know there there are companies that will come and install it, and 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 they haven't made as much inroad into Reading as as some other towns have okay. experienced, which is something that we would like to see change. Absolutely. Also, we Absolutely. would like to see uh, RMLD itself uh, develop some sort of community solar. So Absolutely. for those of us who have you know a bunch of trees on our property, you know that we're not going to put up solar panels, but. But I'd still be interested in subscribing to, to solar. Absolutely. And the so. light department has a rebate program for yes. uh, yep. residents who install yep. solar panels. So, Very nice. So that's a great benefit. Excellent. Yeah. So, so again, again so some uh, upcoming events. events. You want to go over a few? Um, are there any uh, upcoming events that you want to, that you'll be attending? Um, anything? That you want well, to I think to we audience. mentioned the bike swap, the right? Bike that's swap that's the most immediate. Okay, now that's coming up. You said this, this weekend. This Friday and Saturday. That's correct. Anything in the over the spring? I mean, you'll be attending. Do you always attend the Friends and Family Day and those events as well? Um, we, that, not the Friends and Family Day. We haven't we haven't been at that one. Okay. Uh, at least not consistently. Okay. But the but, street fair. Yeah. Do you have a? Yeah. So yeah. The street fair? So um, and and uh, Gina actually publishes a, a a newsletter article. It goes in the in the local newspapers. So that, you know all of the things that are coming up. Get mentioned okay. in those in those in the newspaper through that the Green Sense column. Excellent. And could you give the website or contact information again, just just so people right. have it? You can. Um, there is a slide for that, and um, it's on our committee is on the town website. Okay. And um, we also have a uh, hotmail email address, Reading Mass CCP at hotmail dot com. That's the climate. Uh, Cities for Climate Protection okay. was the original program, so the CCP stands for that. Okay, excellent. Um, so you can contact us by email or through the town website. Just look under the boards and committees. The Climate Committee is one of those committees. Very good. good. Great. Uh, thank, thank you both for your time. time. I appreciate you coming in. Um, good, good luck. and uh, Thank you very much. Again, I appreciate it. Thank you very All right. much. Thank you. All right, we're going to go to Katie in the uh, studio.